Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at a pair of broom handles that is uh, exceedingly interesting and is going to illustrate Mauser's change from the large ring hammer to the small ring hammer. And also some other very interesting things that were going on in a very tight serial number range of guns in about... Oh, probably about 1903 to 1904 at the latest. Uh, so our first gun here that we're going to look at is a large ring hammer. And of course, you can tell that by your large ring and your large hammer. And that is the, the gun that came after the cone hammer, which had two projecting cones on either side. And... Uh, had more concentric rings in the middle. This is, was hollowed out into the large ring hammer. And then, right about serial number 35,000, Mauser went to the small ring hammer, <clears throat> which you see right there. And this is one of the first small rings that was actually made. And we'll take a look at the, the guns and what's similar and different about them. So right about serial number 35,000, Mauser decided we're going to go with this small ring hammer design. And that is the design that they stayed with, essentially. They did change uh, some things on the guns up until uh, production stopped about 1935 or so. And, uh, but the, the general outline of this small ring hammer stayed the same until the end of production. So again, small ring hammer and... A large ring hammer so that gives you an idea there so first we'll look at our earlier large ring hammer which is right at the end of the 34,000 serial number range and right at that time Mauser decided let's do some really fancy grips and so they got this hard rubber rubber or gutta percha I'm not exactly sure of the material but they uh, they went to this and it's it's quite intricate you've got this um, mythical beast here with a cherub shooting it with a broom handle so i guess they decided hey this seems like a really good idea so let's let's do this uh they did not do this for long obviously these grips are certainly not as as good as wood in that they chip easily, they break, they crack. I've seen a number that have been cracked and that's unfortunate on these because these are beautiful grips, but I don't know that they're very practical um, for these guns. And they were only used in a very small serial number range. I don't know exactly how many were made, but certainly not many, not more than probably 100 or 200 maybe. Uh, you've got your standard Mauser marking on the side everything else is very standard you've got your one to a thousand rear tangent sight you've got your stock cut as well as all of your standard serial number and everything like that repeated up onto the hammer the last three of the uh, three digits of the serial number on the hammer um, again, cut for shoulder stock. Remember, this piece, which is your bolt stop, is actually going to be serial numbered to your gun. And the way you can look at that is push this button in right here and move your uh, tangent sight up a little bit. And then you can take a look. Either the last three or the last four of the serial number will appear on that bolt stop. And again, that is a matching part. A lot of times this part has been replaced. So if you are looking at a high-end all matching gun, always check that part. You've got your standard panel milling, 10 shot magazine, strawed trigger. Uh, you've got your fire bluing, your long extractor here. Flip this guy around. And you've got your standard Mauser chamber marking there. Your serial number, which 
was generally starting to be placed always here. Uh, on some of the early cone hammers, Mauser would put a serial number here. Sometimes they wouldn't. So don't be alarmed if you have an early cone hammer and there's no serial number right here. It's just one of the ones that Mauser didn't put there. You've got your standard Crown U uh, proof mark. Everything else again is the same. You've got your expected panel, mill, panel, panel milling, which went through a few different changes, but really nothing to get into the weeds about. You've still got your old type cone hammer safety, which is that's up for fire, down for safe. And as you can see, the way that works right now, this is moved a little bit from the firing pin, put it on fire and suddenly the hammer is on the firing pin and you can cock the hammer if you wanted to. Whereas when it is actually safe, that hammer is locked and you can't cock it, you can't do anything with it. You've got your standard Mauser front sight and your standard under the barrel markings, which don't get too excited about that. That's just you know, they change those up a lot and really generally is not going to mean a great deal. So don't let somebody tell you, oh, this is some super rare variant that has some strange chamber, uh, marking underneath the barrel. They had a lot of different markings under the barrel. So taking a look at the large ring hammer, this gun is a very early, like I said, small ring hammer. And it too has the angel grips. And these are also in likewise excellent condition, identical to the other. But I'm not really sure, maybe it was maybe Mauser was celebrating that they were moving on to uh, a new variant of gun. But uh, for whatever reason, they did use those grips and they are a recognized type of uh, grip variant by collectors and both of these are actually hand inscribed on the inside when you take the grips off they've got the full serial number etched in very carefully as would be typical of of hard grips like this and mauser would do that so you've got your standard chamber marking or not chamber but side marking you've got your small ring hammer here and your one to a thousand sight as well still on the long extractor on these uh, early small rings and they kept using those for quite some time your standard chamber mark and flip this guy over your serial number which is right here and Really, that's all there is to be said for this gun. This is just, as I said, a very early uh, small ring hammer and, and everyone kind of said they started about 35,000 on these. And this is uh, 34992. So very, very close to production or standard production of the, uh, of the small rings exclusively. I really haven't seen any large rings made past 34,000. So I really think that was the end. And just to refresh, this one is serial number uh, 348, as you can see there. So two guns that are very close together in serial number. And just two very interesting variants of kind of showing what Mauser was doing at the time. But if you enjoy seeing odd broom handles, and we'll look at some very standard broom handles as well, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll uh, keep doing videos for you on ordnance, helmets, firearms, all kinds of cool stuff. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.